Here comes the double champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, and he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Right now. He has never been more confident nor more proud. This is an accomplishment on a different level. Well, just think of the road he traveled and what he endured to be here tonight, holding two championships. Well, it has to be recognized that right now, we are witnessing dominance on another level. We have never seen a landscape this competitive, and yet he stands before us holding multiple championships. No one's in his league, and he's got the hardware to prove it. Two championships. You better believe all eyes are on him. Here comes our Tribal Chief. Perhaps the most dominant champion in WWE history. The head of the table, Roman Reigns. Representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Champion, Herman Reigns! Over 1,200 plus days as Universal Champion, the third longest reigning world champion in WWE history. Three plus years of dominance. Dozens of successful title defenses. Yeah, it's got to feel like pure intimidation when you are facing Roman Reigns. It may even feel like victory is virtually impossible. Reigns is firmly established as the head of the table and has no intention of being unseated.
just can't help but be in awe of the Tribal Chief. I agree, Saxton. This man has truly earned his spot at the head of the table. The face that runs the place is in the building. And he is ready to stand head and shoulders above the competition once again. And from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the greatest of all time, Love him or hate him, you cannot deny the reaction John Cena gets from the WWE Universe. And he thrives off that reaction. It only makes him stronger, better, and more determined. I honestly don't know that there's a more determined superstar than John Cena. And he proves it every single night. And tonight should be no different. The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because LA Knight is here. And yeah. From Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, LA Knight. LA Knight will hand out a beatdown to anybody, any night of the week. It doesn't matter to him. Knight has got that unmistakable swagger, and he is creating a special moment in time within WWE, and I'm here for it. The Apex Predator is on the hunt. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! Think about the journey this man has had from the blue chip legacy prospect to the legend killer to eventually world champion. Well, what about all the allies and enemies that Randy Orton has made along the way? And he's beaten just about all of them, allies included. The Viper has consumed everything in his path. Randy Orton may just be the greatest of all time. One of the most methodical superstars in WWE. Every step he takes serves a purpose. Yeah, Randy Orton is always thinking inside that ring and provides no reprieve from the gruesome attacks that he creates. Always a threat with the three most dangerous letters in all of sports entertainment, R-K-O.
this arena. And from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, The Rock! Hey guys, unsurprisingly so, social media right now is buzzing. No, because he represents millions and millions, literally. More than 415 million followers on social media. They smell it all right. Indeed, the great one. A third generation superstar who honors his family starting all the way at the top with the high chief, Peter Maivia. Without a doubt, furthering his family's legacy in sports entertainment and cementing his own spot on the WWE Mount Rushmore. His greatness transcends eras in WWE history. Powered up in the iron paradise, Team Bring It is a lifestyle. This six-pack challenge is underway, and I expect a brawl in short order. It's going to take nerves of steel to overcome the chaos that comes with this type of match. Let's see who steps up and rises to the occasion. Set him up here. Up in the suplex. Oh, no. Neck breaker. Just never had a chance to block any of those. He moved, but can he capitalize? In a no disqualification match, you and shoulders are down. Now we see Knight. Cody Rhodes drives them down with a vertebraker. to the arm, hyperextend your elbow. Hoist it up. Snapping the neck. Hey, you can't do that. Just doing anything they can to chip away at the base. Swinging neckbreaker. Textbook. The dominant streak of Reigns getting a bit challenged. Yeah, that's the kind of offense that opened people's eyes to the rock. Suplex. Oh, no. Neckbreaker. Set up for the throw. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. I can't believe I'm saying that. A single leg camel clutch and a great oh, yeah. counter. Double team out. That's telling your opponent you don't deserve to share this stage with me. In a match like this, sometimes the smartest strategy is to find an out. It can also be the most dangerous if you don't watch your back. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. His shoulders are down. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? This one is headed outside, guys. Clearly no love lost between these two with a display like that. All right, here we go. He climbs into the ring. Cody retaliates. Ouch. Looking to end this. Oh, the There won't be any coming back for the rock. 
Ah, uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Oh, right across the solar plexus. Look at the power from Cena. Face first. Will be landed here. He gets a kick out after the one. This is it. Then Rhodes. That could have been it right there. Ooh. Hits 
Hands up there. Uh-oh. up the win. Here is your winner, The Rock! He really wanted this one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. That's what happens when you put in the preparation and the training.